everyone, this is Zodic Needed 635 and um, if you guys remember the last video was a bit sad because the original chip of the amazing robot um, died. Well, like it was not dead at all, it was starting to die. Well, today it died and of course, as I said before, I had the replacement. So here's the uh, original chip for all those who are at wondering. It's a normal China fake style chip, you guys can see. Here's the uh, where the capacitor is, and right there is where the transistor was. Now, why the transistor is no longer there? Well, <coughs> I had to put I had to put a new transistor, and I tried getting the transistor because the chip the the chip that I was going to give to this robot originally uh, had a transistor, but that chip I don't know what happened. I think I just I don't know what happened to it, but it was not a big deal. It was one of those that made the Pioneer sound. I think I have it here. Oh yeah, it's this one. But as I said before, I, I have another... Well, I did not say it, but I have a chip that makes that fire, fire, wee sound. And what I did was, I ended up taking the, tra the transistor out of this one and putting it in that chip. Since this one was not enough strong for making the lights light up at their... Uh, how can I say it? At the maximum potential. So, uh, I ended up just, well, I'm going to throw this, this transistor away since it's not, no longer useful. So this chip is messed up. He mi it might still blink, but yeah, it got messed up uh, last night. So, yeah, um, the robot right now has a new chip. He's definitely going to have this chip until it frights again, so I'm going to show it in action. Also, before I do it, I'm Skyping with this dickhead right there. You see that asshole? <laughs> See, he's on his period, but okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna turn it on. Oh, what the hell? Fucking Skype crashed? What the fuck? God damn it. The freaking Skype crashed. I know. No, you don't say. Okay, so, robot, as I said, probably I showed it before, probably not. It uses three double A's. This is the first one that I got. The one, um, from la <laughs> I think it was last year. Hold on. No, it was 2014. It was... Wait, wait, it was 2014, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, it was the one that I got a, at a Chinese store. He had a broken leg. I think this leg was actually broken. He was not... He was going too much forward. That's why... That's why I got the second one. Because this one started shorting out. I don't know why, but... Yeah. So, this is the robot. I'm just going to turn it on one more time for you guys to see it. So, here we go. Yep, so this has been the video on the Amazing Row, but if I ever get if I ever get to see more of this, I'm gonna buy them, of course, because I like them. They're pretty much um, my favorite, well, not really my favorite, but my favorite kind of those knockoff walking robots, because this one actually walks right. The Universal Fighter 4 walks like crap. If you guys know, the Universal Fighter 4 is from another brand, a bit better plastic, but a bit lower performance. Even though the other one actually moves the arms and head, this one walks a lot better, and has a small chest, um, how's it called, a small chest disc right there. It would be interesting to see robots like this that actually do everything, I mean, move the arms and head and have that spinning thing on the chest. 
So, um, yeah, this has been Zonic Dieter 635. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. No, nothing, really. God damn it. What? Nothing. Okay, guys, I'll see. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.